Hello everybody, in this video I would like to show you how to create such custom progress indicator component with React Native Reanimated Library. Let's start with a template and we have app component which render a progress indicator which basically view containing count of progress item which also basically view this style of rectangle with width, height and background color black. You can see it in the simulator. Uh, to start work with our animation, we actually need animation value. Uh, let's name it uh, progress and let's use, use shared value hook. Starting value will be zero. And in the component mount with our use effect hook, this empty dependency. Let's set our value with timing function to value one and with a config duration. Our duration is uh, 5 second or 5000 milliseconds. This is basically it for now. What we did here, we initialized progress value with uh, value 0 and it will change to value 1 over duration over 5 seconds. Now let's pass this progress to our progress item. at in our prop types uh, it will be shared value of type number also extracted from props and now we can create animated styles with use animated style hook which will return our styles. Also, we need to use animated view. Need to, okay. We need to import everything from React Native Reanimated and also animated like this. So it will be animated view and we can apply our animated styles as usual styles. So we want to start animating our progress item and let's just scale y-axis of it. Uh, scale y value and here we will um, interpolate it. Uh, progress value is also common mistake just put the progress actually we need progress value here the second param will be from 0 to 1 and output we want from scale 1 and to, to scale 4 which put as a parameter top scale you can see it by default set top scale 4 And let's just create the styles object. It will be transform array of objects and the object will be scale Y. And let's take a look. As you can see, it do animation of scale from 1 to 4 of all items. And now we animated simultaneously all items. Let's do animation one by one as a next step. To do this, we need to split our progress value. It should be not from zero to one, but for first item, it will be from zero to 
one eight. For second, it will be from one eight to two divided by eight, and you see it will take the parts of our progress to do animation. Uh, let's use index uh, of our progress item divided by count and here will be one plus index divided by count let's make it more readable okay you see it keeps growing so we need to add extrapolation clamp so it stops when it reach the top scale let's take a look and you see it scales one by one from one to four scale value next let's uh, not just scale up but also scale down we can simply follow our logic and add another point and the value will be one again let's take a look see it uh, growing then going back one by one now we want to make the wave more smooth so the second item animation should start earlier in this case let's increase the number of parts so it will be not uh, like uh, one uh, divided by eight and then two divided by eight like the first part this second part is starting we multiply the number of parts by three and it will be like this uh, in this case when we reach to this point of first item the second will be somewhere in the half and in the third item also will already animated so let's create like total parts it will be our part maybe parts is better and multiply by count and let's replace our count uh, but still we want to not just add one we want add one multiply by parts so it will be parts and two multiply by parts the length will be the same of animation for each item let's take a look looks exactly we want but uh, the total parts is more than this value of last index and our animation stops earlier than our duration to fix this we need to value of the last index of this should be equal total parts so total parts we'll just copy it and the last index will be count minus one let's take a look okay yeah exactly what we want and the last step uh, our animation played only once we won't do it repeating so there is special with repeat function the first uh, value will be first argument will be our this timing function uh, let's take a look it repeats only one 
second parameter is number of repetition like we can set for example three and it will repeat three times we want infinite so we need to pass negative value here for example minus one and you see it keeps going and the last parameter is the reverse so once the timing animation play in the one direction then it play back in the another direction so let's reverse true and see what happened you see progress value going from 0 to 1 and from 1 to 0 in infinity loop and that's it in this video if you like it support is with subscription comments likes whatever you want to do to help this channel and see you in the new videos